update with breaking news. This is Channel 4 News Today. Hey, good morning. It's 6 o'clock this morning. Breaking news from overnight. A school bus driver charged with the deaths of five children after a crash in Chattanooga. Jonathan Walker is being charged with five counts of vehicular homicide, reckless endangerment, and reckless driving. Just ahead, new details on the crash and reaction from police, community members, and Governor Haslam. All right, we are going to take you live right now to this news conference that is getting underway. This is just outside Woodmore Elementary School where they are beginning to talk. This is Hamilton County Interim School Superintendent Kurt Kelly there. Let's listen in. Thank you for coming out on such a tragic day for, for our school system. Let me start by saying we are heartbroken for all of our students and their families. Yesterday was the worst day that we have had for Woodmore and for Hamilton County Schools that I can recall in my life as an educator and as a parent and as a member of this community. Our concerns today is for the children that we have lost and for their families and for the children who have and been for injured families, for the, and for the children who have been injured, for the students and the staff here at Woodmore. For the students and staff, we're going to do everything we possibly can to help them get through this time and address their emotional issues. Here at the school, we're open because we want to reach out to the community and help those that are coming in. We have extra counselors on site um, here at the school and anyone who is impacted by this um, horrible tragedy, we're going to work with them and do whatever we can to help them. There are still some unanswered questions at this time, but our priority remain with our students. We're doing everything that we can to help the, the students through this time. We had 37 students that were involved. We have 32 that are accounted for. We have five confirmed deaths. We have, of those deaths, three were in the fourth grade, one was a kindergartner, and one was a first grader. We have six that are in ICU, and we have six that are in regular rooms. The other students have been released to their parents and they're at home, and we are praying for them and wishing them the best. We ask everyone in Hamilton County to join us in our efforts to heal from this terrible, terrible situation. And let me say this, um, being on the scene yesterday, I want to say thanks, first of all, to our first responders, for law enforcement, to our educators, to school board members and community members, and everybody who has reached out to help us and has uh, contacted us from all across the um, United States uh, showing support. We're grateful for that. We understand that the district attorney has brought charges against the uh, Durham bus driver. We will, of course, as a school system, cooperate fully with the DA and every law enforcement agency that is involved in this investigation. We know that Durham, the bus service that we contract to, will do everything that it can to also work with law enforcement. Also, we're working with the United Way of Chattanooga to set up a funding site um, which we will provide a, additional detail to help the family. Let me say this, that our thoughts and our prayers are with the students and the family of Woodmore, and again, we're reaching out to do all that we can to help and support them. Could you go over the, uh, again, the grades for the, the deceased, please? Uh, the grades for the deceased are three that are in the fourth grade, one that is in kindergarten, and one that is in the first grade. I think it's one boy and four, four girls. I, I do not want to because um, out of respect for the uh, family right now, uh, give, give the names because we would love to have the family and people reach out for them as opposed to having the names be um, given to them through the media. So I do not want to give the names. You, know, you said you decided to stay open um, because you wanted to offer support. But was there any consideration for closing school and allowing people to grieve uh, amongst their family members? If they're uh, wanting to stay out, we're going to excuse it. We're going to allow them to grieve. Those who want to come to school, uh, we're here to reach out and help. So we're going to help either way that we can. Uh, we feel that we were able to provide more services by having those that are able to make it to the school by having the extra counselors and extra support here at the school. So that was the reason for having uh, school open. So we're going to try to help either way that we can.
Any kind of memorial set up at the scene or here tonight uh, throughout the day here? Right now it is early, but we're in planning and we're going to do anything that we can to um, remember these students and support them. And they will always be with us uh, throughout our lives. Uh, this is something that we will never forget here as a community. Describe what you saw at the scene because you've been out there, correct? Uh, what I saw at the scene was um, very, very tough. Um, very tough for me, very tough for first uh, responders uh, when we arrived on the scene. And uh, from this location, we're probably about a mile and a half from where the scene was. Um, but people were doing everything that they could to assist students. Uh, we had injuries. We had some students that um, actually were able to be mobile but still had injuries. And so we were providing as much support as possible. And again, I want to thank everybody who was out there to, to help. Uh, and that was even community members and especially our first responders. Can you tell us about the bus driver? I can say that it is under investigation, and I can say that the DA plans to uh, press charges. And at this point right now, that is all that I can say. But as we get more information, we will be releasing that to you. you can't tell us how long he's been driving for you all? Um, he, we contract out with uh, Durham Bus Services, and we will uh, get that information to you um, in terms of exactly how, when he started. But um, right now, I can simply say that he is being investigated by the DA. Was he a county employee or a Durham employee? He's a Durham employee. Have all the children been reunited with their families? All of the children have been, um, uh, have been, um, it, they're with their families, um, and families have, have been notified. And as, as we said, uh, we still have um, six that are in ICU. We have six that are still in the hospital. Uh, the rest are with their families. And of course, we, um, our hearts go out to the uh, five that are deceased. What was the process to notify the families when this bus crash happened yesterday? The process was to call and also to provide assistance as we were there on the scene and to do everything that we could to uh, notify them. Um, the administration, uh, the school principal, assistant principal, teachers and uh, were on the scene and we were doing all that we could. Also, we had people from our district office that it was uh, helping and supporting um, with trying to make calls and get in touch with people. All right, and now I'm going to introduce Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke, A-N-D-Y-B-E-R-K-E. Thank you. Five is a cursed number in our city right now. And so we are again dealing with unimaginable loss. Um, as Dr. Kelly said, uh, out at the scene yesterday, our first responders did a magnificent job. We want to thank the Chattanooga Police Department the fire department, Hamilton County EMS. Uh, they did amazing work under very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, for those who were out there watching it, it was teamwork at its best. Um, the most unnatural thing in the world is for a parent to mourn the loss of a child. There are no words uh, that can bring comfort to a mother or a father. And so today, the uh, city is praying for these families. Thank you all. All right, you've been listening to first Hamilton County Interim School Superintendent Kurt Kelly just outside Woodmore Elementary School and then secondly right there Andy Burke, the mayor of Chattanooga. So the new information that we are getting this morning, we are getting specifics on the children. So as we've mentioned, there were 37 children on board. Five children died in that crash and of those five, we now know Three of them were fourth graders. One child was a kindergartner, and one child was a first grader. That's right. Also, six children in ICU, six others in the hospital. One was a boy, he said, and four of those were young girls. The reason that they wanted to uh, allow people to come to school and to have counselors there, they said, uh, or uh, Dr. Kelly said, it's a choice. If you want to stay at home and go through your own process, you can. Otherwise, you can uh, just come in. We will have extra counselors there for them. So the choice is up to the family members. For those of you just now tuning in, also new from overnight, you do need to know that the bus driver was charged overnight. Five counts of vehicular homicide, reckless endangerment, as well as reckless driving. 24-year-old Jonathan e. Walker. So he is in jail this morning. We will continue to bring you the very latest and also be checking in with Channel 4's Brianna Arredondo. She will be live for us coming up throughout this hour. And we'll have much more live coverage of the Chattanooga tragedy throughout the day. That will include live reports, of from Brianna, as well as Carly Gordon beginning today at noon. And you can follow our updates certainly online at WSMB.com.